Hey guys, we'll get into the Rogue Company leaks about the two new characters, abilities, and gadgets in just a moment, but before we do, I've got to let you know that we've collaborated with NordVPN for today's video. Right now, they're doing a huge sale where you can get 68% off for only $371 per month and an additional month for free. A VPN basically makes it so you have a more secure private internet connection. Not even your internet service provider, you know, the company that provides you internet can see what you do when your VPN is active as it encrypts all of your data. Now, when I say the VPN encrypts all of your data, it doesn't mean that it's actually storing your information. The really cool thing is that you can also spoof your location. Say you're in a different region of the world that doesn't let you watch your favorite content on YouTube or Netflix. Well, with NordVPN, you can make your device pretend that it's located back at home and voila, access to the same stuff you're used to watching. This goes the other way too. Say you've heard great things about a show or an anime, but you can't access it on Netflix because of the region you live in. Well, load up that VPN, select your region, smack that Netflix app launch button, and boom, access to any shows or or movies in that region. Don't let Glitch steal your information. Go sign up for NordVPN at nordvpn.com slash dieharddgg or just use the code dieharddgg at checkout. And remember, if you want to cancel, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee. I'll toss a link in the description below and pin a comment as well for you guys to get started if you'd like. All right, let's get into these new leaks. Today, we're talking about two new rogues potentially coming to Rogue Company. I say potentially because, well, it, you never know for sure if they're actually going to be in the game until the developers confirm it or release official information on it. The first rogue is called Bulwark in the game files. Here's what presumably a she currently looks like in the game files. Now, if this is what Bulwark will look like when she releases into the game, I think it's pretty badass. She's got a militaristic mercenary look going for her with a bandana, shoulder pad, armor, ammo belt, and utility pockets and bags strapped across her arm and legs. She kind of reminds me of a female version of Dima for whatever reason, and just by looks alone, she seems like she'll either be a breacher or a defender type of rogue. We'll talk about her potential weapons, abilities, and gadgets here in a second, but before we do, keep a note that most of her armor and padding is on her left arm. I think this cosmetic look ties into her loadout. I also wanted to mention that although this model of Bulwark may not be the exact final look of the character, all the textures, meshes, and materials for the character seem to be fully developed. I'd be surprised if this isn't the next rogue we see coming to Rogue Company. If hi -Rez is sticking to their goal of 8 rogues per year, then we'd expect Bulwark to come out sometime in mid-December. As for abilities, there is a mention of a Bulwark shield, and more specifically, a Bulwark shield mod and a Bulwark sidearm mod. Under movement mods, there is mention of Bulwark movement speed mod and Bulwark passive mod. If this is at all related to another game file called Speed on Damaged Buff Mod, which is different than Evade Mod, see this picture, then I believe that Bulwark's passive will increase her movement speed when she is damaged. Let's go back to her activated main ability, which seems to be related to some kind of a shield. Searching through the game files, there's actually a gadget called Bulwark Shield, and this is what that looks like. Now, this is an extremely confusing gadget because it's worded much differently than Anvil's barricade ability is in the game files. You may think that this shield is just a similar version to Anvil's barricade, but I don't think that's the case. For Bulwark's shield, there is consistent mention of sidearms. There are level 1 and level 2 components as well as recoil profiles. This leads me to believe that Bulwark's ability is a shield instead of a sidearm or some kind of a gun shield for your primary weapon. To further this thought, searching through the melee weapon files, there is mention of a shield gauntlet, which looks like this. I'm not sure how this would work, but it may be related to Bulwark's shield and might be the melee weapon available to Bulwark. It may work similar to Scorch's melee, which is basically just her fist. I imagine that Bulwark will bash with her shield instead of with a katana, throwing axe, or bat. There's also mention of a 5-7 riot shield in the pistols folder, but it doesn't really seem like this model is close to being finished. So I think Bulwark will be the next character to release sometime in mid-December and will be a female breacher or defender type rogue. I believe her activated ability will be some kind of a gun shield, her melee weapon will be bashing with the shield, and her passive ability will be related to increased movement speed after being damaged. Now, I know that's a lot of information, but be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about this. What are your theories about Bulwark? But wait, we've still, we've still got another rogue to talk about. This rogue seems to be much earlier in development as the game files for this character just showed up in the most recent patch with the Fixer. The name of this rogue in the game files is called Ishana. I don't think this will be the final name of the rogue, but it's what we'll call them for sake of the video. I 
did want to mention real quick here that if you're not currently subscribed to the channel and you enjoy learning more about the game leaks and updates and you may want to subscribe so you know when the next hot topic or leak comes out for rogue company now ishana seems to be a lot different than bulwark let's throw the character up on the screen here to show you what i mean assuming that ashana will be a female character once implemented into the game she currently looks similar to dahlia but for whatever reason i get spy or assassin like vibes from her her design is very sleek looking and it looks like she has some kind of an ascot scarf or turtleneck around her neck it also looks like she will have some fingerless gloves which may play into her gadgets and abilities which we'll talk about next first let's talk about a new activated ability called bounty in the game files there's mention of the bounty mod and a bounty device now this ability doesn't make a whole lot of sense by itself but i did some further poking around in the files and found something called the mini drone this is what the mini drone looks like you may be thinking oh well that's saint's drone i thought the same thing but then i went and found saint's drone and this is what his drone looks like so Jumping back over to the mini drone, you'll notice that there's a small sphere on the front. I believe this is a camera, which would make this drone be potentially used for intel or remote viewing. If you've ever played Apex Legends, imagine this drone being very similar to Crypto's drone. There's another game file that might support this remote control drone, and that's the tablet. Here's what the tablet looks like. Now, I thought this might be related to Glitch, but his hacker device doesn't look like this tablet at all. My thought is that the tablet is what is used to control the mini drone, but as I've said previously, this is just speculation at this point based on some game file browsing and finding the things that aren't currently being used in the game. As for a passive ability, the only thing that I can find that isn't really assigned to another rogue at the moment is the adrenaline shot or something related to move faster and slow immunity. If Ishana is a recon or intel type spy themed character then it may make sense that she has some kind of a passive that allows her to move faster and be immune to slows immunity to slows was removed from anvil in a prior patch and this may be because they wanted to reserve that passive for ashana i'm not 100 percent sure on if this adrenaline shot ability is correct however because there is an ability icon for the adrenaline syringe and there is also a model for the stim pack which if ashana has a mini drone for an ability it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for her to also have the adrenaline shot ability. This adrenaline shot could be for Bulwark, it could be for Ashana, it could be for a future rogue, or it could just be something scrapped during development. As for gadgets, Ishana may have a special gadget called the Throwing Knife. This is different than Ronin's Ballistic Knife because in the game files that's called the Explosive Stake, which looks like this. I feel like the throwing knife is different and maybe a unique gadget for Ishana. It would kind of match the theme we're drafting up for a spy or assassin-like rogue. Again, let me know what your thoughts are on Ashana down in the comments section below. It seems she's in early development right now and my thoughts on what her theme, abilities, and gadgets are may not be accurate. There are some other things that I found in the files related to the battle pass. There will be changes to the lobby screen that will show your progress within the battle pass once it's available. These are evident by four different files called Level Achieved Check, Reward Track Chevron, Reward Track Progress Back, and Reward Track Progress Fill. It also seems that the battle pass will have its own tab that you can open to view progress, past rewards, and future rewards. I searched through several other folders including all cosmetics, currency, DLC, maps, and game modes and didn't really find any more information on the battle pass the battle pass is one of the last big items on the 2020 roadmap and i'd almost expect the battle pass to release with the next rogue sometime in december but it could be sooner i personally am most excited for the battle pass because it's a feature that everyone will be able to enjoy ranked is great for the people that want to test their skill but a lot of people still just want to play the game casually as a solo or with friends the battle pass is something that they have to look forward to and can grind towards if ranked isn't really their thing i've mentioned for a while now that the casual players are just as important as the competitive players for the longevity of the game and I really hope that hi is keeping this in mind as they continue to further develop Rogue Company. I didn't notice anything in the game files that indicated a future limited time event like the Strikeout Snipers event for Halloween nor did I find anything that indicated that there would be future bundles like the 100 Thieves or Dr. Disrespect Arena events. I really do hope that some kind of event comes with the release of the Battle Pass towards the end of this year, and that it makes the game more fun and interesting for all. I did find that there are still game files for the 2v2 Wingman game mode. Obviously, there's no timeline yet, even from the developers, on when this game mode may be coming back into the game, but it could roll out sometime this year. Wingman was present in the closed alpha for Rogue Company, and there were a few maps available to play on. 
We've covered these in past videos, so I won't go into more detail about it here. I will also say that the lead developer tweeted out that the team is considering control the flag or neutral control the flag, which I think would be a great change of pace to the game and bridge the gap between those that enjoy strikeout and those that enjoy extraction or demolition. I did also notice that there seemed to be some files related to a battle royale mode, but I haven't seen this file folder updated since the prior update, so I think it's safe to assume that there won't be a battle royale mode coming to Rogue Company anytime soon or maybe ever. I'm sure people are split on if they would or would not want to see a version of Rogue Company be a battle royale, but there is just so much competition right now with battle royales that I don't think hi -Res has any great reason to try to continue development on a battle royale mode. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, let me know by liking the video and dropping a sub to the channel. We cover everything Rogue Company from every patch note detail to gameplay to leaks and tips and tricks. I appreciate you all for checking this one out, and I hope to see you again in the next one in our Discord or live chat with us all over on Twitch. I'll drop the links to the Discord and the Twitch down in the description below. If I don't see you, well, I hope to see you in the next one.